Hi guys, um, I'm now going to teach you how to mine Coinye coin using your Android phone. I found this great piece of software called Crypto Miner Pro. Uh, I'll link to it below. And um, I'm going to assume now that you've set up your pull uh, like I did in the video that I will link to here. Just uh, click to set up your pull. And I'll assume that you've set up a worker too, and um, that that worker is, we'll go with worker one anyway. Okay, once you've got this Crypto Miner Pro on your phone here, turn on my phone. Okay, load up Crypto Miner Pro. Okay, once you go to Miner Pro, um, as you can see, we've got some uh, blank spaces where we have to fill in some information. First, under pull URL, you need to copy in, in lower case, what I have here, stratum plus tcp colon slash slash pull dot colon 3333. Now, I'll link to that below, so you can just copy and paste that. In the user, um, you should put in your username. Mine it was Sonic Smith. that's what you logged into the coin you pull. And then dot, and then the worker name that you are created. Um, and then the password for that worker. Okay, for algorithm, it should default to script. Um, if it hasn't, then just select it to script because Coinye is a script-based coin like Litecoin and Dogecoin. Okay, scroll down a bit and we can set the number of threads. I've set mine to two. Um, the, the more threads, if your phone can handle more threads, you can uh, set it up higher. VFP or Neon, you can set it to Neon, which I think um, can operate things a little faster. Priority, now I've set this to lowest um, just because if you do it higher, it's going to mess around with your phone's operations. So, I mean, if you were doing this overnight, you could put it on highest. Uh, I'd recommend that you put it to lowest just to begin with. Uh, and then check run in background just so that we can run this in the background um, once we turn the screen off and such. There's two other options below that, but um, you can leave them unchecked for now. Then uh, scroll back up to the top and click Start Mining. Okay, as you can see, I'm just about to click Start Mining. And just below here, we've got our log window, which will tell us what's going on. So, Start Mining. Okay, you can see it says start mining. Two minor threads started using script algorithm. Starting stratum on. And then you can see the address. And now it says stratum detected a new block there. That just means that uh, some other miner found a block while they were mining. And there, our killer hash is coming up now. If you look, we can see that thread one has 0.5 killer hash going and thread 0 has 0.5 as well. Now that sounds very low, but this is, uh, you know, an Android phone mining. You're not going to, you know, make thousands of coin yay, you know, a day, but it's a really fun way to get into mining. And um, you can leave this going overnight, and it's very little usage, uh, power usage, especially uh, since you'll be able to turn the screen off. Just make sure um, that you connect it to Wi-Fi. You don't want to be um, getting your data caps with this, although it's probably not that much uh, data, really, because these are small little packets. Now, what you want to do is just wait, and this will keep um, updating us on how it's going. And uh, soon you'll see that it accepts a share. Once it's done that, um, we can check our pull online on um, the computer and see... Um, see how our mine is going and what kind of speed it's getting uh, through the pool. So that concludes the mining tutorial using an Android phone.